Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know it's open conversation, whatever they want to talk about. That's what we're talking about. Yes, let's jump in guys. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Aquarius right now. And y'all remember these readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If that doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one. See if I picked up the energy there. See whose energy is the strongest right now. For my Aquarius, I'm going to ask them to show me with this deck the energies that are between you and your connection. Just remember, it's from their perspective. It's how they see things, not how you see things. Aquarius is person. Show me first energy, please. Aquarius. Ooh, pop. Sex. <laughs> I'm not saying that sex is all I want, but I want your touch. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's not all I want, but dang, guys, it's good. Mm -hmm. Energy between us. Energy between us, please. Aquarius is person. Energy between. Pop. Shattered. I'm feeling broken. Can't, can't stop these racing thoughts. Ow. Now, the energy between us, guys, hopefully y'all understand this. It's from your person's perspective, but it's the energy, something you have in common with each other. It's the energy going on between you. Ow. So, we've got some racing thoughts. Mm. Other side of the energy, please. Aquarius is person. Aquarius. Aquarius. Hmm. Where's the other energy, please? Show us. Ooh, pop. Commitment, let's take it to the next level because no one else matters. Ooh. Somebody over here is wanting a commitment. They're ready to step up game. And somebody over here is trying to reassure us. Sex is not all I want. <laughs> but I do want that. Yes. Energy between us is we've got racing thoughts. We probably, yeah. We've probably been shattered before in the past and stuff and carrying a little bit of that uh, shadowy veil stuff with us, the baggage. <laughs> yeah, from, from love experience, life experience. But a lot of racing thoughts. I'm feeling broken. Mm. Let's get on talking. It's from my Aquarius, their person. Get it one more time. Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's come in on that. Ah, it's not all about sex, but it's the main focus. <laughs> Ooh, pop. Oh, we got a Ten of Wands energy. Ooh, Ten of Wands energy. Y'all know that's a stress energy. Feeling like you got a heavy load on you. Ooh, what is that just telling me? Because it's coming in on that sex thing. Your person to de-stress to de-stress, they actually, this helps them to de-stress the physical, the physical stuff, for real. What else? Oh, it also helps them to heal a broken heart. Yes. Mm. Three of Swords and Commitment. Commitment. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What are they telling me here? Tell me about the Three of Swords. Hang on. Let's get into it. Let me get to a conversation here. Focus. Tell me about it. King of Cups. Full card. What else? What else? Pop. Knight of Cups. Pisces Energy. Mmm. Okay, so guys, the fact that it's coming in on sex, this person is cl is is telling us a lot about um that helps them to de stress for real. But if they feel like we're that we don't we're not attracted to them, that there's something that we don't like about them on a physical level, that we're not you know more desiring them, uh, it can actually cause massive stress for them because they put a lot of emphasis 
on the physicalness that we have between us when it comes to a committed relationship. That's part of how they judge or or perceive that we're still committed, that we're still in, you know, serious in the relationship. Uh, so just know, um, I don't know how to put it with it. Yeah, let me try to find an easy way to put this. If we were to feel bad and tell this person, you know, they're wanting to, and we're like, we're sick. We're really sick. We're snotting at the nose. You know, we got cruddy stuff. And we're like, N no, not right now. You know, I'm sick. There's part of them in the shadow side on the subconscious level that triggers, that makes them feel like, uh, um, you don't want them anymore. Uh, when they logically, their logic brain will tell them, well, of course, they're sick. You know, blah, 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 blah. There's a part of them that they're carrying in that says, nope, they don't, they don't want you anymore. Mm -hmm. And it goes deep and it cuts deep. Because we've got a, the heart here. Mm -hmm. Scorpio energy, sometimes in its shadow side, can be a little tight grip possessive. I want what I want kind of thing, and I need things my way. Then uh, Scorpio energy in the dark depths of the shadow of that energy. Um, will no, need to know that they captivated you on an emotional level. Mm, and it feels risky. So, just know what this person is sharing with us is when, if we show any sign... Oh, we, you know, we don't want to physically with them. You know, just like I said, you could be sick. You just don't feel good. It's just not in the mood. They take it on a personal level and run amok with it. Uh-huh. The Pisces energy is shooting it way out there into the subconscious monkey brain chatter of, well, you're not really committed to me, are you? Our relationship is breaking up, aren't we? You don't want me anymore. That kind of thing. I don't know how else to to explain that. Even this person will have a hard time explaining the emotions that they get triggered on with when it comes to physicalness, because their logic they, you know, their logic tells them don't be don't be stupid, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But it don't help because they're being triggered. And when we are triggered and we feel something, it's real to us, guys. So, yeah. Ooh, that might be part of their, why they feel shattered and broken. Let's get them to talk a little bit on the shattered and broken. The middle energy. Right here. Mm, four pentacles trying to hold on tight to what's precious to them. Mmm. The shadow side of our Scorpio King. Then we have the past in children. Or just the past. Youthful energy. And the Emperor. Mm, rolling factor is what? Feeling emotionally vulnerable. Feeling childish. Um, drunk in love kind of thing. Where, where your logic just goes out the window. Needing a lot of attention. On a physical level. And they... Oh, God. Okay. And this is manipulative behaviors to get. Sneaky behaviors. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords energy to be able to get the attention that you need. They might become emotional. Pout. Um, complain. Things like that to get what they want. And what the, or what they feel like they need. Because it's not really a want, it's a need for this person. Because it reassures them, um, the commitment's there. Mm. But why is, why, why are they telling me in the, in the center? Because this is energy that we have in common between us. Have they projected their own stuff out on, onto us? Ooh, that we might use manipulative behaviors with each other to get what we feel like we need. Let's let them talk over here on commitment. Ooh, freedom, independence, confidence, patience, frustration. Also, with that patient card of is this really worth it? And tower moment. What's the tower? What's the tower? 
perfection. Opportunity to find something that's more perfect and you're going to get tired of me. Oh, God. Okay. And so, really what they're showing me over here, they're... Because I feel like I'm talking to this person. They're describing this person if they got a lot of confidence. They're having to use a lot of patience, but uh, they're, they know they're going to wear this person's patience out and cause a sudden change for the, you know, destruction of the relationship. And that this person is going to find someone that's a little more perfect for them, opportunity to move away because they're going to get fed up, completely fed up with this person. And their shatteredness. So, yeah. They didn't really tell me a whole lot about this person and how they think this person is shattered. Maybe it's because they're dealing with their own. So, yeah. Mm, let's go ahead and let them talk. Let me pull up the majority of the cards. We'll leave the opening ones out. That way I'll have close to a full deck on our next round. This is Aquarius, this person. Hold the energy on the deck, please. So let them talk a minute. Come in on that. Ten of Wands. We've got confirmation for someone. June, Gemini, Cancer. What else? What else? I need a commitment. Yeah. They've already... And just know, we've already defined... What helps them know and, and what proves to them there's a commitment is the physicalness. What else? You're irresistible. I fantasize about you and long to be with you. Mm -hmm. Let's come down that center energy here. Give in. Give in. I'm afraid of what others may say or think. What else? Anything else? Aquarius is person. Yep. I have true feelings for you. Let's let them talk over here on this person. That is like, yeah, commitment. I mean, I'm here for it. Misunderstandings drove us apart. I love you. What else? I love the connection we share. Mm. Was there anything else? Praise. Anything else? Yes. I don't want our love to change. I don't want you to change. Let's go ahead and rotate the message decks. And we'll go back to the tarot. Let's see if there's anything else they need to bring out. Aquarius this person. Aquarius this person. Anything else you want to talk about? Aquarius. Ooh, pop. Ooh, got six of swords, rite of passage, moving away from stormy times. And quit pulling apart. The, that's our chariot battle wagon. It's coming to sync with each other, opposing forces to come into sync. But it's a determination to overcome the storms and challenges. And... Ow, that their emotional vulnerabilities bring in. Mm, tell me, go deeper on that chariot card for me. Card eight. Commitment. King of Cups again. Wow, okay. Scorpio. Oh, pop. That one fell out too. Oh, change. Death card. Two Scorpios. <laughs> Two Scorpio energy here, guys. So, what this person is saying, uh, they got a determination. They want to work through any challenges that their emotional vulnerabilities is causing in the connection. Where they might cause heartache. Where they're feeling like, the, you know, they're getting their feelings hurt. Because they are totally committed to the relationship. They want to be more emotionally mature. And they're trying to make the changes they with the death card coming right after our King of Cups, that's them saying they are transitioning into changes to try to catch their self when they're triggered on an emotional level uh, to uh, quit throwing out the logic and, and listen more to the logic of what their logic is telling them rather than the monkey brain chatter. Let's see if they want to say anything on the page of Cups energy real quick. 
anything on that page of cups. Yeah, right here. Page of Swords, subconscious messengers, they feel, well, yeah. <laughs> Nine of Swords, anxiety, stress, big time, obsessing. They really are trying to, to change um, the emotional vulnerabilities and the triggers, the thoughts they're getting on it. Because this is subconscious triggered thoughts with our Page of Swords. Um, and not be triggered so much and not obsess, obsess, make more out of a anthill, you know, it's, don't make more out of an anthill, you know, don't make it into a mountain, make things bigger than what they are, because like if you say no, I'm not in the mood, their brain is immediately going to panic mode of you don't, oh God, they don't want me no more, there might be someone else, that kind of thing, <laughs> so they really are trying to work on these triggers, hmm. Okay, let's let them talk some more. Come in over here. I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. What else? I'm thinking about making you an offer. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, pop. I don't mean to be so selfish. Hmm. That's probably going to cause that major arcana death card change. The fact that they are seeing their trigger is causing them to be selfish when, you know, before they wouldn't have, you know, even considered they were being selfish. They would feel like something was being done to them. They are now seeing their trigger as I'm acting selfish. I'm not in a good place mentally and financially. For some of us to take the financial part off because that just didn't feel right on a, a mental, the mental. I'm really disappointed. I'm hearing it of uh, they're disappointed in their self. In their self. What else? There is more to come for us, but first I have things I need to take care of. Like, yeah, fix my triggers here. What else? Anything else? Yep. We're getting to. I live with constant regret. I have your back no matter what happens. What else? What else? What else? Oh, right here. I feel so self-conscious around you. Hmm. Anything else? Yep. One more. I don't care how foolish I look. I love you. <laughs> Aquarius. Guys, let's go ahead and get them focused in on the deck. They want to give you final and closing messages from Aquarius. This person, where's your energy, please? Ooh, the flying hearts. Ooh, it's just been popular this week with the readings. This is the light side of Heart of the Phoenix deck. Aquarius, this person, close us off. Pop. They popping. I'm not sure I fully express just how much you mean to me. My life would be nothing without you. I would be nothing without you. You saved me. You're my hope, my strength, and my inspiration. I'm ready to follow you anywhere. My heart belongs to you. It hurts to be without you. And I have kept myself closed off for so long. It feels like that is all I know to do. Please give me some time to open up to you. Hmm. I think we got one more here, guys. Last one. <laughs> Pleasure takes on a whole new and different meaning with you. I will grovel at your feet. Oh, Aquarius, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.